Well, good evening. Welcome. Oh, look. The web captioner is acting weird. There we go. We'll just move it up. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope that you all are doing well tonight. And I hope that you're ready for Mist. We are going to Mist tonight. Mist 4. That is um, our plan. However, the first thing that we're going to do actually is... Um, Gosh, I'm trying to remember which goblet it is that my alts thing is in. Um, I want to show you something. Uh, do I dare log out? I think that she's in the goblet six. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna hope that I get the right one. Um, if we get the wrong one, then you know, we'll um, <laughs> then we'll just take the risk and log over onto my alt because I did a thing I figured something out for you all and I might actually need to be on her anyways just so I can show you what I did so like just to show you how to like build something um, I had to use my alt because I don't have any slots left in any of my housing to like do anything like I, I'm at the maximum number of items I'm, I think that she's in this I think that she's in this one I think her apartment room is in here I should have written it down it's hard to keep track of everything let's go check let's go check the apartment building Let's see. No, it's not this one. Ugh, okay. We'll just, you know... Let's see. I hope it doesn't take... I hope that this isn't a mistake. I hope that there's not, like, a really long queue. <laughs> that would be stupid. But I made the elevator door that we saw last night. And so, oh, it's not a long queue. It'll only be a moment. Sorry if you hear a crunching. I'm eating a cracker. <laughs> yeah, they're not too bad right now. Hi, folks. Hello. Is it Kai Kaibai? I'm not sure how to say your name. Like Kaibai and Sharon Mir. Nice to see you this evening. Oh, you're at the Outback right now? <laughs> awesome. All right, here we go. So we're going to go to my apartment. Crunch away. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> Look at the butt spot. Gotta love the butt spot. It's pronounced buddy bye, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna keep this alt's, um, keep her apartment room, uh, for doing stuff like this, for building stuff. There it is. Check it out. It's the elevator door. I even, like, have it elevated so that I could use, um, so that I could use open partitions to to uh, surround it. All right, great. I'll wait to do your um, your free company house until you get get back, because you're in plot six, right? So there it is. It's basically a um, it's a cracked arch window for this. It's a stage panel. It's a display case, a showcase, and two wooden lofts, and an open partition. That's it. When I stuck this thing up there to kind of hide the top. Um, I think I would probably use a different window. Um, I might use like the, the square, the square window. 
um, because it's taller than the cracked arch window. You can see the top of the cracked, cracked arch window there. But basically, you put the... Here, I'll show you. I'll pull it apart. I'll pull it all apart so that you can see how this got put together. So basically, there's this display case. I'm just going to move this thing over here. So there's the display case, right? And it's sitting on, um, let's see, what is it sitting on? I think it's sitting, it's sitting on the, the open partition right now. Um, so it's in there and all that I did was, it's just a stage panel there, right? But what I did is I mounted the window on the stage panel first. And I just rotated it slightly. I found the center of the door, you know, and I rotated it slightly so that we just have like one edge that would be um, poking through the stage panel. So you, you put it up there like that, you rotate it and make sure that you have the height right with your, with your lofts. And then you take the stage panel away. You turn off counter placement. You just uncheck that click the item, you know, like this, and then, you know, left click it and then right click to um, detach it from the stage panel, pull the stage panel away. Then you're going to take your stage panel and you put it in there. You know, you put it in there, uh, kind of like, kind of like that. Your display case goes in. Oh, you got to turn on counter placement though. You know, and in goes your, your showcase. You know, as far back as you can get it. Like that's about it right there. And I'm just going to move my stage. You know, it's just not going back as far as it was before. And I don't know why. Oh, I do know why actually. Here, I'll show you. Let me pull this thing down. If you put it, I'm going to put it up on this thing. I'm going to place it on here. If you place it on the open partition, you know, line it up, put it a little bit back, as far back on the, the ledge of the thing that you, as you can, and then line up the edge there. And now take it, take the whole thing and move it into place so that, okay, so see how it's the, the window is just poking out? Pull it so that it's just inside and then you take your stage panel last and place it inside and you just push it until you get the little mark and if it doesn't if it's not quite right eh, that's good I think it's back a little too far I might want to actually pull this out and do it one more time because the stage panel went back too far so we just put this in there and we kind of find the center Find the center line with the, the thing and then pull it forward so that it's, oops, get this out of my way. Go away, go away. So we just want it to be just, just inside the, the glass, right in the center of the thing. So it's like right there. Now. We'll try again to get the stage panel in the right place. Helps to grab it at the bottom, I think. Get better control. So then just push the stage panel ever so gently until just, it's right there. There we go. That's where we want it. Perfect. You just have this the little thin green line. Um, and if I had used a taller window, it would be better, you know, because it would go all the way up. And you can adjust your partitions to like make that edge perfect, you know, and that's why I actually had this up here because then you can't see it. You can't see my goof up. I used the wrong window. Use a fool's threshold, uh, either a fool's threshold or the, um, the square window. I think that it's taller and it would work better. But there it is. 
and I'm not sure, you know, the exit is visible, but I could not get it to work before. Let's see if it works. Nope, I can't click it. And I'm not sure why. It's really making me upset that I can't use my exit because it's right there. But I would have to play around with it more and it might be that I need to push it back. I, I might need to put it even closer. Might even need to be even closer to the door um, to be able to use the exit. Because, I mean, we're just a little, we're like, you know, that far away from the door. And, oh, see, I can get it from the side. I'll have to play around with it more. Anyway, that is how you make the elevator door that we saw in one of the apartments last night. There it is. All right. So... I just wanted to show you that before we started. There you go. Elevator door. And if you need help with any glitching or, you know, any of the other little tricks, just let me know. <laughs> oh my God, there's so much to do in this game. You could be occupied all day, every day for many years and... Um, Never run out of things to do. All right. Well, we're going off to mist four. I might as well just stay on my alt. I don't know. Let's see. We want to go to Limsa. You want to hear something sad? I get less followers when I play on a Lollafell than when I play on Cat Girl. Like, I usually would be getting, you know, like 10 new followers a week. And since I started playing Lollafell, it's like two or three. That's just sad. That's just sad. Racism. I don't know what people got against Lala's. <laughs> the single thing. Yeah, I know. Really, it's like, um, yeah, <laughs> to really do things uh, to, to make you can make some crazy things. You can make some crazy things. And that's why we'd like to go out and do this, because I saw that in an apartment last night. Um, and we were all just like, what? <laughs> we got to figure out how to do that. We got to know. And so... I did my math, <laughs> my, my Final Fantasy housing math, and I figured it out so that I could show you all today. So we're going to go to Ward 4. Off we go. So here we are in Ward 4, and... We're not good. We're going to wait to hit plot six, which is down there um, for she when Sharon Mar gets home, because that is her free company house. But we are going to first go to plot one, which is like right down here. I believe this is plot one. Yep. This is McLeod Manor. And the owner is Seeker McLeod. And it says that it is not haunted. Yeah, I don't, you know, it's just, it's just kind of dumb. It's just kind of dumb, you know, that people like, you know, whatever, don't like my Lollafell. She's adorable. She's an adorable potato. All right. So let's take a look at their yard. Their yard is, they got their striking dummy back there. Wait, let's, they have a nice plot here. What is it that they see over there? Oh, that's their neighbors. Their neighbors have a cafe. It's a big yard. They've got a, a, a cannon here. I think they might be having a problem with one of their neighbors. Or maybe they're just, you know, worried about pirates. It's probably pirates. <laughs> All right, in we go. Let's check it out. All 
All right, let's see. So they've got this thing made with a partition and three pillars and some sylph lamps at the entryway. I like the red, I like the manor wallpaper. Oh, look over here. We've got, this is the living room. They've got gargoyles. It's not haunted. This house <laughs> It's limps after all. That's true. Got to be careful. You know, maybe all these gargoyles and stuff in here are for protection. I like their little living room. It's just a cozy little living room. Manor style. Let's see what's on the other side. The dining area. Got a big fireplace. Got the manor stove. Big table. Extra chair sitting over there. Maybe that's so they can get the plates. Maybe they're a Lollafell and they um, they need this chair to get the stuff off of the, the shelf. Let's go on upstairs first. Marlin. All right, let's see. Let's check out this area here. This is the office. Nice. We've got Row Mommy, Crystal Mommy. Coral. Nice, nice office. fish tank up there that looks good I like the way they've done this with um with these uh the glade partitions and the glade pillars it looks good big grandfather clock and a bookshelf and there's there's our friends Hildy and Nashua so back here is the bedroom It's a giant bed. This is probably a bathroom over here if I had to guess. Yep, bathtub, shower, crystal bell. They've even got a towel. Good for them. No toilet though, because people in Eorzea don't poop. And the rest of it's just the library up here. Nice. I like this. I think they have this, um, the Hildebrand music just set to loop. <laughs> oh gosh, it's Chocobos downstairs. Oh my God, look at this. It's the gold saucer. This was a labor of love right here look at it <laughs> oh my goodness this is awesome aorazines are 100 percent fuel efficient it all turns to aether that's right and we don't need we don't need anything so silly as a toilet we barely need to bathe we bathe just because we want to just because it feels nice. <laughs> All right. This is amazing. I love it. I love their gold saucer room. Wonderful. Awesome. Nice house. <laughs> That's why the Garleans can't use magic. Oh, gosh. You mean they have to poop, huh? Oh, poor Garleans. No wonder they're so cranky. You know, half of them are constipated. All right. I did not see a guest book, unfortunately. That's sad because I think this house is great. I really love what they did here. Um, they did not use any extensive glitching or anything. This is just, you know, pretty standard decor using uh, the standard housing hooks. They just, you know, they did a nice job. Of, of arranging stuff and uh, that gold saucer room downstairs is great. Lovely. 
Very nice job. All right. So that was plot one. Plot one is awesome. Nice job. Let's see, where is plot two? Plot two is this big one down here. Got to run down here and around the corner. Oh my goodness, look. There's ghosts attacking the, um, the Aether Shard. <laughs> Be careful using that one. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here we are at the happy ending. <laughs> the owner is Eternal Strife. It is a free company house. Um, it says, welcome to our abode. Please sign the book and hang out. It's a message book and they, um, they have a message book and it is a designer home. So let's go check it out. Let's look at their yard first. This is a large plot, so they get a lot of items. Oh, look. That looks cool. I like what they did there. They used that, um, the brick garden wall with the grape pergola. It fits perfect. And the otter otter bench. Now that is, and they use the Toro lantern. That's very nice. I'm taking a screenshot of that. I like that. And it's a cafe, so they have this beautiful outside, and they stuck the um, the brick oven up here. Baking some pizza outside. This is a very nice yard. I don't know if this is the unbreakable rock or the mossy rock. I think that's the mossy rock. So they've got this nice garden here. It's like, you know, farm to table kind of um, stuff going on here at their cafe. Their chocobo stable is spotless. Garden shelf. They've got this Vieira lady here behind the counter. She'll take your order. Nice, very nice yard. There's their guest book. So we'll sign that on our way out. Beautiful. This looks very nice. I love this item too. I built one of these for my yard. I really like it. Little hanging bench. I wish it swung, <laughs> but you know, uh, we'll take what we can get. It's pretty cool. All right, in we go. Let's go check out the inside. Oh, nice. All right. So I like their choice of wall. They've got the, um, the varied wood w wall there, um, which looks really nice. These houses are so huge. Beautiful. Let's check out their entryway. Looks nice. Lily lamps. They've got, you know, their butler hanging out by the door. Got a bunch of, you know, they keep their money like right by the door. This must be, you know, this is just a little bit of money. So maybe this is just to like fool any people that break in, you know, like, oh, look, the money's right here. Let's take it and go. And they probably have a giant stash somewhere else. There's some vendors. That looks nice the way they use that verdant shelf partition. There's a marble partition there and another one there. And box shelves up there. They used extra pillar. Oh, there's Hildebrand and Nashua again. Got this stage here. Look, it's a pole. They've got their pole stuck like right in the middle of the lantern or of the chandelier. This looks nice. Okay, so let's take a look over on this side first. 
So South Seas Furniture, it's the bar. There's the barkeep. And they've got ale taps, cask racks. There's the little, you know, the little pub board, pub sign board. Very nice, very nice. And another little sitting area here with some wine. And then I'm not sure what that picture. I, I think that's like an octopus. It's the lectern of Naldithal. <laughs> Some fish. All looks really nice. Very classy. Let's check out the other side. It's a place to sit and watch a big screen TV. I don't think you can get up to that loft above there, but you know, there's a loft up there. This all looks very nice. I love the, the wood slap partitions against the black wall. Looks classy. All right, let's go upstairs. So there's the Sultana's seven and a fish tank, and they just used the open partition to um, to close that fish tank off. It's the perfect size, and that works. There's Horchifron on one side and Louis Swa on the other. Oh, looks here's the gold saucer stuff up here. The Moogle's Claw. I'm so bad at that one. The part where you probably can't reach the loft is what makes me want to get in that loft. I know. I know, really. Me too. When they, like, close off stuff, like, you know, I'm they, they in the really fancy houses, they often will, like, close off the basement, right? Because they just have, like, a bunch of stuff floated from the basement. So you go down there. I push my way down there because I want to see the wilderland of items and partitions that have been floated and see how people did it. <laughs> So I can learn how to do it. So I can, you know, help you all learn how to do it. Here's their crafting area. Catfish. All right. Nice house so far. Oh, God, look at... Wait, we missed something. Holy cow. Chocobo pillars. But look, this is a fish tank. And... That's a Moogle clock. Those are, those are grandfather clocks. And it's like they made their own little vending machine kind of thing. Um, with all these, look at this. <laughs> Sir, this is a restricted area. Yeah, I know. Thanks for telling me it's a restricted area. In I go, let's do it. <laughs> this is amazing. What on earth? Okay, you know, I love this. I think it's supposed to be like, you know, a toy vending machine or something. I love it. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Downstairs we go. This is a super nice house. It's like, yeah, it's like a giant slot machine or something. I think you're, I think you're right. I think it's a big slot machine. And those were the, you know, they were trying to match up the things. Good call. That's what it is. Hey, this, look at this. Oh, look at, it says Ultima. That's their, uh, that's their guild, their free company, uh, tag is that. <laughs> That's awesome. These people are very creative. Look at this. Very cool. Check out this room. Now, I, I don't know what the purpose of that is. But it makes me want to get on it.
I can't get on it. Let's see here. Can I get on the back? I can't get on the back of this here. Ah, I can't get up there. Why? Why is it there? <laughs> it looks like this is, you know, they have some kind of contest and this is where, you know, third place stands and first place and second place. Oh, maybe. Maybe so. I don't know how they get up there, though. They must have, you know, pull out a ladder or something. <gasps> oh, look. I got up. This is really cool. <laughs> awesome. All right. Let's go over here and check out the backstage area. So they've got a little backstage. Nice. I love this. There's fish tank. Really well done. I love it. There's their Christmas tree. <laughs> I started taking down my Christmas tree today. It's not quite done. Really nice house. Let's see if they've got... Um... Oh my god, look how many rooms they have. We're going to be here. We're going to be here for a while. I should go sign their guest book now. Maybe some of them will want to come and say hi. All right. So they have a lot of uh, rooms to take a look at. So cool. Let's go sign their guest book quick. And then... Um, And then we'll go, we'll go through their rooms. That's a lot of rooms. We might um, take a break and go to Sharon Mir's uh, free company room when she, or uh, free company house when she gets back, <laughs> and then come back. Welcome to the Eternal Strife Free Company House. Please stay, sit, and stay a while while enjoying our lovely abode. Leave a message and let us know you stopped by. Uh, someone said they ate the baby. It was St. Popoto says he ate the baby. This house is awesome. Really amazing job. I live streamed my visit at Twitch TV. Cat Miss Evergreens. Come join us. Here we go. All right, let's go check out some of their rooms. Cool. <laughs> all right let's go on in the first room in this free company house is little england the owner is aldrick Britt, and it is room number one and it says welcome to little england i'm not sure what to expect but you know we'll go see this is little england apparently No, it's just, you know, there's not much going on in here. It's just very, um, very proper. Just very proper bedroom with a bed and a bench and a nightstand and, you know, a wardrobe and a Nashua and Hildebrand picture. Things are done in blue. <laughs> All right, let's check out the next room. This is Briar's room. The owner is Briar Iceblade. 
And it says, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, enjoy the mess until I get some furniture. Wait. Okay, so is it a mess or is there no furniture? We'll see. Let's see. This doesn't look that bad. I mean, you know, they're working on it. They're learning. Housing is a learning process. I've gotten a lot better at housing design since I started doing these tours. Um, you know, I've been in hundreds, literally hundreds of houses and apartment buildings now, probably close to, you know, I, 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 it may be a thousand, you know, we're on what episode 24 and I had already had like, you know, maybe 15 or 20 episodes before that, that I didn't number. <laughs> so I've been in so many houses and now I can look at stuff and I can I can figure out how to do it so if you want to learn how to do housing just like you know come along come along this is Sir Clapp's room and its owner is Sir Clapp's a lot it says make sure to sign the guest book before you leave it's a designer home and they have a message book and visitors are welcome so let's go check out Sir Clapp's a lot's room Ooh, this looks nice. Oh my gosh. The Ikea in this uh, housing ward is also sold out of bookshelves. Check it out. Everyone's got stacks and stacks of books and not nearly enough shelving for it. Snowman. It's so cute. This person is just like gonna... They're gonna... They're gonna... They're gonna meet their doom under a pile of books. Or be eaten by their chair, one of the two. What's going on up there? Oh, there's gold up there. They've still got their Christmas tree up. Mine is half down. I gotta finish it. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Let's see. Nice. There's the little triple triad board. Let's go on up. Fish tank. It's big. Check it out. This is where they paint. They've got their favorite paintings. Look at all that money. This is where they hide the money. Alright. Nice room. Let's sign it. Let's sign their guest book. A word from the owner. Welcome to my home. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> Someone signed in here. Ha ha, nerd, nice books. <laughs> nice room. Be careful. That chair looks almost as dangerous as the book pile. I live streamed my visit at twitch.tv Catmus Evergreens. Come join us. I copy and paste. I'm copying and pasting that little bit. Copy that bit so that I don't have to type that bit up over and over again. Very nice. Very nice room. All right. So Sheeran Mir is here. So, I propose that, because look at this, look at this, Sharon Mir. Look at how many rooms this free company has. I mean, a lot of them aren't open, but that's like, you know, a lot of rooms. We could be here all night. <laughs> um, we are going to go out and we'll do houses until we get to your free company house. Then we'll do your free company house. And then we'll come back here and look at more of their uh, their private rooms and that'll probably be it for the night um, also I am going to be away this week um, from so I will not be I don't usually stream on Wednesday um, or Thursday uh, so, so I don't know that I will miss anything because I should be home in time for Friday evening stream um, but I'm going to Florida to see my grandbaby haven't seen him since before the pandemic 
And so I'm really excited. Uh, going to go see him. It's a five hour drive, so I should be home in time to do my Friday evening stream. All right. So this is plot two. We're going to go check out plot three is right here. So we're going to do three, four, I think this is five and then six and then we'll come back and look at their free company rooms. <laughs> I used to live in Florida. I lived in Florida for most of my life. I lived there for 26 years. My daughter just moved back. Um, <clears throat> she just moved back there two weeks ago. Uh, she was in Colorado. I went to school out that way too. Um, so I had been away. I have been away for a long time. I haven't been to Florida since 2006. So It'll be nice to go see Florida. I love the beach. <laughs> I'm in Georgia, so it's not far. Let's see. This is POV43. This is the Price of Victory, their free company house. And uh, they don't have a greeting or anything, so we'll see. We'll see. They've got, you know, their yard decorated bit. And they've got these nice cafe walls. So we'll see what they've done inside. It's a work in progress. I'm not really sure what's happening here. What are what are these two doing? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what's downstairs. Oh my goodness, look. What? What is happening here? They don't have anything upstairs because they don't have any item budget left. I'm confused. Can someone please help? Someone send help. Um, uh, is this a chessboard? I think they're playing chess. I think this is a chess game. Yes, they've been to Bosja a lot. <laughs> they've been to Bosja a lot. But I believe that this is a chess game. These are the pawns. Look, the pawns are the um, Magitek armor. And on this side, the pawns are these little guys. Oh, look at who the queen is. <laughs> that creepy little lady. Oh, gosh. And the king is alpha. <laughs> it's a chess game. I think that this might be the queen for this team. That's their queen. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> is that their queen that's the queen oh, they have a lot of queens or that is that the king oh this this is the king and queen right here so that is you know that makes that a uh the knights knight oh, no that's the knight and that's their other knight that's the bishop. You think Lakshmi is the bishop? Yeah, she's she's the bishop, and um, and this is probably the other bishop. Maybe that's a rook. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> they don't want to go home this year for Christmas. They just want to stay at school. They just want to play wizard chess. <laughs> I'm serious, K. Bye. They just want to play wizard chess this Christmas. <laughs> oh my goodness. Awesome. Very clever. I like it. I was a little concerned when I saw this upstairs. I wasn't really sure what was happening. Um, but yeah. There you go, Sharon Mir. That's what your neighbors are up to. That's what your neighbors are up to. They're playing wizard chess. Oh, they don't have any free company rooms. All right. <laughs> That's very cool. Oh, my goodness. All right. Onward.
Let's see. So here we are at plot three. They didn't have a guest book. Unfortunately, I would have definitely left a message for them. We're going to go down here to plot four. Which is this one right here. This here is plot four. But, you know, I'm just going to like hop the back fence and run around. Oh, why they have to block my my uh, attempts at taking a shortcut like that. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is Elysium. The owner is God Slayers. Um, so this is another free company house that says any moment might be your last everything's more beautiful because we're doomed <laughs> I, i'm not sure if i agree with that or not you will never be lovelier than you are now carpe diem I, okay I, that's fine it's a tavern they have a message book and visitors are welcome they've got their pumpkins out from the event gosh it's a lot of pumpkins So there is their retainer and their reta you know, it looks like they fixed the problem with the retainers um, on these uh, on these walls because the other day when we were looking at them, all of the retainers were like sunk down into the ground and it may be that they had them out there before they changed the walls, but they were behind the counter. So I don't think so. They were like sunk in the floor, but that one looks like it's just fine. They got the fruitful fountain up there. Huh. Okay. Got their deck up here and they put the pizza oven up here. I like it. Good idea. All right. So this yard is awesome. Let's check out their, their house. Let's see what's going on in here. Okay. So this looks pretty nice. We've got the Ishgardian wall and the manor carpet. Uh, this may be a work in progress. I'm not sure if it's all done or not. There's their guest book. You wish more people were hanging out. I know. Um, yeah, it's always fun when we run into people, you know. I hang out at my house all the time. Like, at me and my husband, we hang out at our house. We don't hang out in Limsa. <laughs> with everybody else you know um we we use our we use our facilities we use our houses it, it does seem oddly empty right now maybe people are busy you know it is it is sunday night maybe people are just you know off doing their dungeons and trying to get stuff done because they got to go to work tomorrow So there's not much going on in this room. There's a lot of empty space. Let's go upstairs and see. Usually at least a few people around the market board. Oh, yeah, we're on we're on Midgard. Midgard Sarmer. Oh, look at this upstairs. Look at this. Whoa. This is gorgeous. What a beautiful upstairs. Yeah, feel free to send me a friend request in game too if you are, if you're on Midgard. Look at this beautiful, this is lovely. Oh my gosh. This looks so nice. They used two fireplaces to make one fireplace. <laughs> I love this. I love this. This looks great. I didn't even see that yet. Okay. So here's all the books. This beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I know. Really. I know why their downstairs is, um, is empty right now because this, the, but this is totally worth it. Totally worth it. And look at that. 
Look at that wall. That's beautiful. This is awesome. Wow. <laughs> YouTube butt the light. <laughs> butt spot is ridiculous. Oh, wait, we didn't even go in this. There's a door here. Oh, yeah, we did go in here. It's just their crafting area. Okay, let's see if they've got anything going on downstairs. They may have sacrificed their main floor for the upstairs and the downstairs. Oh, look. It's a venue. Got stages and dance poles. Curtains for the backstage area. The bar is upstairs. Check it out. That looks great. <laughs> As goes butt, so goes buttness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This looks amazing. Look at this. I love it. Let's go upstairs. Check out their bar. Fish tanks. And I believe that, you know, these are potion racks and those are tabletop items. The back bar, I think those are also tabletop items. And the fish tanks are tabletop items. So they didn't have to float that. The only thing that they had to float t up here would be this bar counter and these three bar stools everything else they could just place up here and i can show you how to place an npc up on a um on an elevated surface yes it is a fully stocked bar they're expecting a lot of guests We'll do a let's build it sometime and I'll show you how to put NPCs up on things. I've done it once before on stream, but it's been a while. Nice house. Amazing. Let's see. Let's see what they've got in there um, for rooms. Oh, they have a bunch of rooms too. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Gosh, it's already 924. So we might we might have to come back and visit free company rooms in Ultima and Elysium. We'll go look at a couple and then we'll move on because it's you know Sunday streams are short just because we start late because you know we have family dinner usually on Sunday night. Yes, <laughs> butt spot. Time flies where you're in an ward with butts of free company houses. Yep, it does. We'll be in this ward for a while. It's going to take us a while to get through here. That's fine. That's fine. We're not in a rush. I'll never, I'll never see every house in this game. I, if I lived to be a thousand years old, I probably wouldn't be able to visit every house and every room. All right, great. Oh, you know what? I'm on my alt right now. Whoops. I'm on my alt. Um, but that's fine. And I'll... Uh, I'll send you a friend request from my main character. Also. Val Ajiris. Alright. When I switch over. Yeah, my you can just send a request to her. I, you can send a request when she's offline, right? It's just Katniss Evergreens with an S. <laughs> the, my main character. The, um, the only reason she's got an S at the end of her name is because I had made this one first as Katniss and my main character used to have a different name. But then when I started the housing thing, it just seemed like a natural fit. You know, the house cat. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. We'll go to the next room. It's X's study. The owner is Xavier Shinespark. And it says, books, some quiet music, and a place to write. What more could a Pikachu want? Come and visit sometime. It's a library of visitors are welcome. It's a Pikachu room. 
This looks pretty nice. <laughs> Everyone is in desperate need of bookshelves. That's all I can say. Desperate need of bookshelves. The pandemic's been hard. People have been trapped at home reading. And, you know, Ikea is sold out and working under uh, limited staffing. Yep. Yep. And I'll be on, you know, I'm only on my alt because of showing you all the, her, her elevator in her room. Okay, let's see what's behind the factory door. More Allegan nodes. It's just a cute little room. They got their little computer desk back here. Nice. Nice room. All right. I regret that we are going to have to actually, if we want to make it through the few houses, we got to go do them and we'll have to come back. Does the elevator lead to the Ultima weapon? <laughs> Wait, does it? Does it? Is that what's inside here? I don't know. It leads to this Allegan node. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, if it did, if it did, we would never get out of here because we'd have to listen to Gaius's freaking monologue first. All right, we'll come back. We'll come back for our free company rooms in these two free company houses because, man, they've got a lot of rooms. There's like, you know, between these two free companies, there's 200 free company rooms to look at. Oh, wait, did we sign their guest book? We didn't. Another daily movie roulette for you. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my gosh, this house is absolutely amazing. Amazing. That upstairs is just gorgeous. I am so impressed. There we go. And we'll be back. We'll be back to this house. So let's see, where are we? We're at plot four. So we're going to go down here to plot five, which is the big house up on the corner. And then we'll go to plot six. How many houses are open in this zone? This is like, this is a really unusual zone because look, there's only two houses that are not open to the public here. All right. This is home sweet home. And this is another free company um, house and the, it's sweethearts um, is the owner and their free company tag is sweet and it's a casino lounge bar and it's always happy hour and visitors are welcome. So let's go check it out. We got a snowman out in the yard. Their garden is planted and, you know, growing. Not quite ready to harvest yet. Nice yard. Very nice yard. All right. Chocobo stable needs to be cleaned. You really need to do something with your free company room? <laughs> well, if you want help, um, you know, feel free to hit me up. I will also, I will give you a couple resources right now um, that might help you plan out your free company room. Let me put some links in the chat for you. So the first one is this website. It is called housingsnap.com. Check out that website, seriously, because that is like the best, best um, resource for getting inspiration. Because um, people just, you know, they post up beautiful pictures of their beautiful places. Uh, so there's that. And then there is also a YouTube channel that I really love that is actually a real life channel um, called Never Too Small. 
and it's they do like micro apartments in real life right so check out some real life micro apartments and how they organize things and how they put things together to make the best use of space because I'm telling you I looked at that website and then I went and decorated an apartment room and it you know I watched some of the videos yeah no kidding housing snap is awesome all right let's go check out um inside this house sweet this is sweethearts Let's check out their house. Okay, it's very pretty look. I love the large houses. I think they're beautiful. Nice entryway. Little place over here to sit down and um, by the window. Here's a place where you can review your quest history. This is very pretty. Very pretty. They've got things in their ethereal wheel just, you know, just spinning. Okay, so I love this house. And the thing I noticed right off the bat... Um, is it does not I'm I'm not seeing anything glitched here. <laughs> no, you know, theme houses and theme rooms are really fun to do. Like, you know, look at I, I bet those people had a great time doing that chess room. You know? They've done a nice job with this house and they they did not glitch stuff. There's nothing glitched here. Except maybe, you know windows on partitions that's it so the place from storage glitch that's about it this looks really nice let's check out the upstairs first we'll go up to the right look at this beautiful carbuncle dining room i love this looks so nice I wish these doors on the upstairs would work and you could go out on the balcony. That would be cool. Nice little bunks. <laughs> They've got the little bunks in here and a carbuncle bed. All right, so let's look at these. The special items that they have on these, like this is the serpent bed. It's got little books and stuff, but look, there's a little postcard with a snowman on it. There's a, there's a wind chime in here somewhere. Where is it? I heard it. I know I did. And this is the, the maelstrom bed. They've got, you know, their nautical maps and stuff. And this is the immortal flames bed. And what have they got? They've got a cactus. They got their little cactus plant. Check it out. They brought the desert with them. <laughs> nice this is very nice upstairs so far it's the big bedroom oh there's the wind chime i knew i heard it from the other side you were thinking of having each of your friends and free company members pick an item from a category which you will buy and try to make something out of I like to do housing challenges. I'm still trying to, you know, I, I one of the ones I want to do is to try to do a designer room with nothing but items from the housing vendor. If I can't buy it from the housing vendor in the room, I can't use it. <laughs> it is fun. Maybe we should have a contest. Um, you know, as an incentive for people to come and join the channel. Uh, you know, we'll do a challenge and 
um, everyone can put in their entries and we'll go around and we'll look at everybody's challenge housing projects. I'll have to, you know, I'll have to work on this. I'll have to work on this. We should do this. This house is awesome. Beautiful. Look at how pretty this downstairs looks. Look how pretty. So nice. Did we, we didn't go in here, did we? Did we go in here? Yeah, this is just a crafting area. Let's go downstairs. If you have not yet, um, there is a link in my about information uh, to, to join my Discord. And actually it might, the bot, I think the bot will send... Um, We'll send a message about it as well. Uh, I'm not great at Discord and I do the best I can to keep up with everything, but with school I get busy and sometimes I don't pay the closest attention to Discord, but um, it would be good if we want to do any kind of like challenge housing contests or, you know, just a, a housing challenge for people and go and look at what people do. Uh, Discord would be a good place to organize that. I love this. This is beautiful. This house is just, you know, it's just really tasteful. Really nicely done. This is just lofts and um, tubs. Limlian's Embrace Fountain here. They made it look okay. Such a strange item. It's so big. <clears throat> really nice. Just a very nice house. Sweet. Sweet. We'll be glad to have you. We'll have fun. I have to come up with some more fun things to, for everyone to do. Let's see how many rooms are in this free company house. I have the feeling we're going to be like coming to this zone to look at free company rooms for a while. Oh gosh, yes. Another, you know, there's another, you know, 20 rooms or something. <laughs> All right. So we'll have to, we'll have to do that have so many free company rooms to visit all right like what you see yes this house is amazing really beautiful and serene i enjoyed my visit oh whoops i gotta re i copy and pasted things so i gotta rewrite the thing I live streamed my visit at twitch.tv Catmiss Evergreens. Come join. Join us. There we go. All right. And on we go. So we are now going to. Oh, yes. Your house is next. Here I come. Coming next door. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, me coming to visit your house is never anything to be afraid of. <laughs> I like everybody's house. Oh, look at it. It's so pink. Is that cherry pink? I love it. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, so looking at it from here, Sharon Mears Free Company House is the pinkest house in mist which i approve of it's very nice love it love the cherry pink oh my gosh look how look how bright it is on the on the fence that's awesome and with a don't make trellis it's perfect I like your outside. This is so nice. Oh, look, I like the, it's like the shroud broadleaf or is that the desert tree? One of the desert trees, probably. Um, that looks cool. Oh, look. Howdy. Oh, look, it's a pinwheel. 
<laughs> Look at that chocobo. Yes. I think this looks lovely. Nice yard. All right. Let's go on inside and see what's happening. Oh, I love the manor carpet. Nice. Nice library. I love the Ronk and Rocking Chair. I mean, seriously, you get a Great Serpent of Ronka pillow. That's amazing. Very nice. This looks really nice. Little Christmas decorations still. <laughs> I actually have. Do I still have the scree emote? Yeah, I have a scree. I have a scree emote, but it's. Um, what the heck is going on here? Why can't I use my emotes? Something is wrong. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I have the this one. <laughs> that's a that's a subscriber emote of mine. I can't remember what tier that is. I think that might be tier two or something. As soon as I get more subscribers, then I'll move a lot of these emotes down to um, tier one. I like this house. This is beautiful. How do you get these up here? Did you have to float these up here? From underneath the stairs? Because I can never get anything to go up on there. Oh, look at this up here. This is nice. Lovely. I like your... um your tile walls the mosaic walls i have used that in my house as well no how do you get the stuff up there you'll have to you'll have to clue me in it's not just a place from storage thing is it okay it is a place from storage thing okay i'll have to play around with it Look at that giant fish. Cool. Oh, very nice. Nice room. I like it. This is my, this is like my, I think this is my favorite uh, sectional furniture. <laughs> Oh no. No, I wish that I wish that we could have a scree emote. That would be that would be amazing. Instead we just have to scream it, you know. Harsha front He's over he watches you take a bath. Oh dear. <laughs> this is nice. I like it. Make sure I look in the pot in the kitchen before I leave. Okay, we will. We're going to head downstairs. Very nice. Wait, wait. You mean over here? Okay. Oh, no. What happened? Oh. <laughs> Are we cooking cooking a uh, mandrake potion here? Poor little guy. Poor little guy. <laughs> onion soup. Oh dear. French onion soup. <laughs> yum yum. Sentient onion soup. I always feel so bad for those little guys. Did I look in this door? I did not. Oh, wow. I didn't even see this. You have so many little rooms here. This is awesome. All these paintings, look at this. So many memories. 
The Harsha Fountain. Yes. Yes. I approve. I approve of this plan. <laughs> I love this. I love this bathroom. All the good memories. All the good memories on the wall. All right. Here we go. Let's go downstairs. There's the guest book. Whoa, check it out. This is awesome. Merle Wib. It's a shrine down here. Oh, look. Let's go up in this loft. There's so many little nooks to, to visit in this house. Uh-oh. Ikea, help us. We need bookshelves. There's stacks of books everywhere. Aorzi is littered with book piles. I like this nice little area back here. Very good. Oh no, what is going on here? I, I, I admit to being just a little bit afraid. I'm not sure what's happening here. <laughs> oh my <laughs> all right this looks awesome you can get both of the serpents now not just one oh from the the gemstone vendor Oh, I'm going to have to, I have to go back. Look behind the stairs. Okay. This all looks really nice. This is an awesome house. Oh, wait, there's. Is this the timeout corner? <laughs> Have you been bad? <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> I'll console you. <laughs> it's the penalty box. This is, you know, this is like, you know, where, you know, send the kids when they, when they, you know, my children. My poor children. They love me. I love them. They're wonderful kids. They're all adults now. Um, when they were little and they would misbehave, I would put them in the car and go for a ride and we would drive out across Payne's Prairie because um, we lived in Gainesville. And so we would drive across Payne's Prairie where there was nowhere to stop. And they would have to sit in the car and listen to me talk to them about what they did all the way across the prairie and back. <laughs> nice house. I really like it. I really like it. Very well done. Lovely. Just love this. Wait, let me... Oh, I gotta go over this way. I just love all the little details and like the little corners of the house are just so nice, nicely done. Very interesting. Everything. There's lots of interest, interesting little spots. The first room that we're going to go in is the large closet. The owner is Chris Lona Z Zank Zankla twin. I think, I think. And uh, it says, please return broom if you see it. <laughs> okay. Let's go check out Chris Lona's room. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's a loft, ice loft right in the, in the doorway. I love the cake roll. That makes me want cake roll. I really, 
I really want a cream cake roll. <laughs> no. Oh dear. I don't, I think I didn't eat enough for dinner. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go to the next room. It is Christo's Hangout. The owner is Christo Sheeranmere. And it says, come in, sit, enjoy yourself. Nothing suspicious here, really. Watch your head. It's a tavern. And it's Ziner Home. Let's go check it out. This looks nice. This looks really nice. Nice little corner. Wind chime. Oh, look, there's the broom. <laughs> they would like you to return the broom. I saw it. There it is. Little table. There's the the uh, orchestra behind there. Oh, look. You can sit in the tub and drink and read and do work in the tub. <laughs> Nice loft. Oh look, it's it's a flat screen TV. Very cool. Is that too um is that like the Eorzea maps put together? Two of them facing each other? Very nice. Very nice little room. I mean, this is an apartment. This is an apartment size room. This is a bedroom turned into an entire apartment. Really nicely done. Lovely. Good job. Good job, Christo. Let's go to the next room. This is Space Holder. <laughs> You're never floating that many lofts again? Yeah, no, I don't blame you. God. I just hate floating stuff. <laughs> I really do. So, this is the owner is Spitty the Meowscular. It says, I figured it out, Cher. All right, let's go check out Spitty's room. Oh, God. They like Merle Wib. You know? Uh, what can I say? I like Merle Wib, too. I mean, everybody likes Merle Wib. Who would not like the giant row mama with the bodacious cans yes I oh yes was that his house that's right I do remember that yes his theme was actually lots of Merle Wib <laughs> all right let's see so We'll get through these rooms, uh, the free company rooms in this house, and then we'll have to call it a night, unfortunately. I hate the, how short these Sunday night streams are, but, you know, I'm glad I get to visit with folks on Sunday evening. My school, I start school again. This is my last week of break, and then school starts up, and so I'll be changing my schedule a bit um, once school starts up, because uh, grad school... <laughs> so much reading it's ridiculous um and i have classes three three nights a week and it's all on zoom 
you know, because I'm going to school actually in California. Um, my school is in Berkeley, but I don't have to be there because of the pandemic. Everything is online. So this is Box. <laughs> and the owner is Charal Extavaria. And it says dangerous area, no entry, but it's open. And so we're, we're going to go in. We're going to go in. You know, we've got armor on. Or something. It's not a dangerous area. This looks perfectly safe. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, look. They drank all the wine. I never, I don't know if I've ever seen one of these, um, with all the wine drank out of it. That's awesome. The bottles are just laying on the table. Nice. Oh, wait. What's going on over there? Is that the dangerous area? <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening behind this door. It looks like it might be dangerous. We won't go back there. Tonberries are guarding. It's fine. <laughs> cool. Very nice. Oh, I like the the use of one of the little of the little um little bunks as a headboard. That's cool. It definitely isn't a gate into the void. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, we don't want to get sucked into the void, so we should probably go to the next room. It's the vortex, Charlie. <laughs> All right. The next room is private room six. The owner is Ardra Lal. And there's no greeting. We'll see if Ardra has decorated their room. Looks like they've got a start on it. I'm, I'm not sure if they're done, though. I think that might be still a work in progress. They surely have item budget left. So we'll have to come back and visit again. So if y'all redecorate your house, you have to make sure to let me know. Because I will come back. And do a revisit. Um, I always come back and revisit. If you if you change stuff up, you just got to let me know. And we'll take a, you know, a diversion out of whatever it is that we're doing and we'll come. She left, like, really? So this room has been decorated like this for a long time. Ah, uh, that's sad. Wait, let's check out this here. We have, you know, we have stuff like that in our free company. We actually have a member who, um, who passed away. And so, you know, they're still in our free company. And will always be there. The room is a time capsule. This is what house decorating was like back in the beginning. We And we thought we were doing a great job. We were so proud. <laughs> Private Chambers number seven is owned by Violet Lilybrook. Let's go into Violet's room. Oh, I think I need to fix something here with the web captioner. It's acting wacky. There, that's better. <laughs> Violet's room is cute. Chocobo. It's a work in progress as well. Let's go to the next room. This is Mog House. The owner is Aaron Wolf, Wolfannon. And it says, work in progress. I need a piano. <laughs> well, we should, you know, we could probably, whoa, he needs a piano. We're going to put a piano in here. This room is full of stuff. It looks nice. Love all the posters. Look at that. You could always tell the people who have played for a long time. Because they got like all the posters from all the events up on the wall and all the holiday stuff. Q 
cute little bedroom. It's just a cute little room. And this item, I love that. I had to go get one of those last night. <laughs> it's such, such a cute thing. Let's see. The next room is private room number nine. And the owner is our high tyoon. And there's no greeting or anything. So we'll just go check it out. We'll see if they've decorated. Oh my goodness. The, the big fountain. Oh, uh, you know, I've seen a number of people do this. And this is what I speculate. The deal is this, is that if you are a person who suffers from hot feet while you're sleeping, you know, um, this is the bed for you because, you know, you're sleeping up here and you're dry and your head and everything, you know, is all good, but your feet are in the cool water. So, you know, hot foot bed, there you go. It's the cure. It's the cure for hot fit. They figured it out in Aorzea. Let's go to the last room. It's the House of Healing. And the owner is Cecile Nelamond. And it says this space is under construction. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see if they've done anything. It's, a, it's under construction. Looks like they've got a start. They've got a nice start. Going with the Glade theme and the Elder Seed Seer. I like the Glade stuff and, and I see very few people um, make really good use of the Glade furniture. It's a little more difficult to style, you know, it's, it's big, it's unusual shapes and, um, but you know, when it's used right, it can be really cool. It's not the easiest furniture to use though, except for the bed. The bed is awesome and I wish that this bed was dyeable. They have shelves. They do. That's right. They don't just have their, I mean, they still have piles of books, but at least they've got some shelves. They managed to snag the last two flat packs. <laughs> well, all right, y'all. It is, it is 10 o'clock on a Sunday night and I have to be up at 6 a.m. to make lunch and breakfast uh, for my husband. As he goes off to school to work and uh yeah so we are gonna end our tours here for the night we will come back to this ward in our next episode we will um, go first to visit the free company rooms and the three free company houses that we did not get to visit all of the rooms so that'll be our first order of business and then we will continue on um, with houses starting at house number seven after uh, after we do the the free company room so that's the plan that's the plan um let's see oh i'll just go back to the free company house you're welcome i'm so glad i visited your house is awesome it's beautiful i love all of the interesting little corners and nooks and the care that you took uh to make you know little meaningful uh areas in your home i love it very nice really nice you know that's that's my husband's you know that's kind of what he does too when he does his um his housing uh design you know he's got like little areas that are like little theme areas demon wall says take care you know like my husband did this this is his decor up here and so um you know we've got you know harsha front here and there's our armorot stuff. Um, but then he's got, you know, like this wall here. This is the Hildebrand wall. So, you know, it's Hildebrand and all of the little places that you go in the quests, you know. So <laughs> he does stuff like that too. And it's a nice way to decorate. It, you know, a lot of good memories of, of having fun in this game. Anyways, I want to thank you all for coming. Hang out for just a minute and we will we'll raid someone's channel. Let me pick somebody. Let's see who's on. 
I'm not sure who's on right now. Check out those websites that I sent you to. Join the Discord. Um, because that would be a good thing to do. Let's see. Coco. Coco Confession is on. I'll send you to Coco. Let me... Give me just a minute here. And I will I will get you all sent over to Coco's channel. Just, you know, pop in and say hi to her. She's a really nice lady. She does a lot of good work raising uh, money for lupus um, research. Uh, she's she's got lupus and um, she's part of a team of stream a team of streamers who all, um, you know, do charity work. So good people, good people. It's Glitchco. Um, and I highly recommend following any of the streamers that are part of Glitchco. They're really all pretty awesome. So uh, here we are. Let's raid her channel. And there she is. And so we'll just start the raid. Only three people tonight. Last night we ended with nine. I am gonna. Let's. House tours. All right. I'm gonna end our raid, and I want to thank you all for coming. Um, and I'm so glad you're here. And we'll see you next time. Have a great Thanks night, everyone. Thank you for being here. Quickly reloading that ice grenade, Shirley.